This is Pastor Nick Hood. We'll be starting worship in just a minute. This Sunday I'm preaching on a powerful topic, which is simply this. I call it Decision Day. And what I mean by that is in life, all of our lives, we make decisions. Do I believe my parents? Do I not believe my parents? Do I decide to study in school? Do I decide not to study in school? Do I decide to goof off, get uh, involved in drugs, or do I make a choice? I don't want to do that. The athletes in high school, when they get ready to pick a college, it, they make a commitment and uh, they sign a commitment letter. It is a decision. But you know, there are a lot of decisions in life. Uh, do I buy chicken, fish, or steak at the store? Uh, you know, that's one level of decision. Do I decide that I'm going to be a vegetarian or not? But a much bigger decision is this. Have I made a decision to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior? Have I made a decision to make the Lord foremost in my life? That's what I'm preaching about today. If you want to get a preview of the sermon, go to Acts 16, around verse 24. This is where the Apostle Paul and Silas are arrested in Philippi uh, for, you know, they converted a slave girl who uh, had the gift of sorcery. And uh, once they converted her to Jesus Christ, she stopped giving out prophecy. So you can imagine how upset her owners were. So Paul and Silas get thrown into jail. And while they're in jail, an earthquake comes. And in the middle of the night, they are singing and praying to God. And uh, they tell all the prisoners, stay in your cell, don't run. Uh, and uh, the jailer is so impressed that Paul was able to, you know, help and encourage the other prisoners not to run away. Uh, he was prepared to kill himself. He takes Paul and Silas to his home. Uh, he bathes the wounds that he either self-inflicted on them or wounds that he gave the order for other people to whip them. Uh, he ba personally bathes their wounds. And then he talks to Paul and Silas about what must I do to be saved? And they told him, you've got to give your life to Jesus Christ. And at that point, he is baptized along with everybody else in his family. Uh, and that man's life is forever changed. And so that's what I'm preaching about today, decision day. Have you made a decision for the Lord? And uh, we'll be starting worship in just a moment. 